Hi everybody, and here we are again looking at one of Professor Lada Adamic's um, net logo models. This one was originally set up to study the diffusion of disease through a network, but it can also apply to diffusion of information through a company. So let's just have a look at the model first and explain um, how it's set up, and um, then we'll do a little demo and we'll see what we can learn from it. So first of all, what we have here is almost like a mock-up of a company. So here you can see we have our nodes and here's this uh, one that's colored yellow. And this node uh, is in a little group, so it knows these four nodes around it. And if you think about this from a company structure, this is like a little work group where this person works with these people. And of course, if you mapped out uh, who other people know, then you know, the person on the edge of this team might know a couple of other people in the company and so on and so forth. And if you went round, what it would look like would be a circle that would eventually come back to the person that you started with. Of course, it doesn't normally look like this. If I put this layout button on uh, and um, uh, generate a slightly larger network with, let's say, 500 nodes in it, then you'll see that uh, this will be all spread up. And if I say, well, typically we know a few other people in that network, you'll see a shape that looks like that. And of course that's um, much more typical for how a company might actually look. But we can actually represent it, take that layout off as, as this circle. And we just decrease the number of nodes, so you can see. And what we're gonna do is we are going to take this yellow node here and give it a piece of information and see how long it takes for that information to diffuse right the way across the network or um, right the way across the company. And these little buttons here on the side, um, they, they will help us to do that. So this rewiring probability we're going to come to in a minute. Um, but this, these two buttons, we've got the probability of infection and the probability of recovering. So what that's doing is for every timestamp, this yellow node is going to talk to the nodes that uh, it has a connection with, and it's gonna try and pass on a piece of information. And uh, I set that to 17% because there's lots of good anecdotal studies uh, around communications, which say if you really want a message to stick, you have to tell people about five to seven times, which is about 17% of the time they're gonna remember. So that's where I'm gonna set that, um, uh, that parameter. And then this probability of recover parameter is once someone has been told something and they have that piece of information, will they forget it again? And so I thought, well, if we modeled um, how often new employees uh, come into the company and existing employees um, leave the company and set that to around about a 10% attrition rate, that would be a reasonable model to apply to a company where people are coming and going. Uh, and so we may have told someone, but they have may have left the company, and of course the new person doesn't know that. So what happens then when we when we run this node? So uh, and run this model. Let's get our network going. I'm going to actually um, put the nodes up to. Let's actually let's put it up to the top. Let's put it up to 500, and generate our network. <clears throat> and you can see here we have our uh, one one yellow node. So what happens when I try and spread that information around the network? And you can see that um, it will slowly, slowly go around the network and it's getting further and further around. And I can speed this up to try and hurry it along a little bit um, and see how long it takes to all go yellow. And eventually, you can see the graph climbing here, uh, it'll start to flatten out. So we are, we're almost there with everybody. You'll never get everybody because of course there's people leaving and, and, and starting. So we'll stop that and there you go. It goes flat there about, where are we? Close to 600. But you may say to me, well, that's not really very, um, very realistic, Mike, because um, I don't just know people who sit right next to me. I know people on the other side of the company. So I thought about that and I thought, okay, so you know, I happen to be working in a company at the moment that has around 10,000 employees and I probably know 50, 50 or 60 people there. So that's half a percent of the total company. 
So this is what this rewiring probability does. I can I can actually dial in some cross rewiring and I can't go below 1%. So I'll set it here, uh, you can see to 1% and I'll generate a new network. And now you can say that there's some cross wiring in the company uh, for 1%. Uh, and that indicates really the other people that you know around there that you may contact by email. So what happens now when I, when I try and spread um, this piece of information? So we'll click on spread and you can see it's spreading around the company and we'll just wait until it flattens out. Uh, it seems to have done that now. So what's that? That's ooh, maybe about 160. So significantly faster than before. Um, and if we do this a few times, uh, we'll see we'll see that same uh, same pattern happen where it'll be faster um, for that information to spread and uh, than it will if there's no cross, cross wiring across the network. So there, yeah, 150. I'll do it one more time and we'll see. Um, there's our yellow dot. We'll see whether that will spread. And slowly it will. And sometimes when you use this model, you'll find the information actually won't spread at all. It will just die out. Um, and you see that, that, those same situations in, in companies as well, where a message just never really takes hold and just dies out. So that one, maybe a bit longer there, so probably 300 before um, we were able to actually get a large part of our company understanding this particular message. So what do social networks do then? Well, I think the big advantage of social networks is that you don't need to know um, who to send the email to or who to know who's the expert. These tools allow you to create more cross-wiring by easily finding people to follow, by sending just messages out that people um, who you don't know um, will reply to with answers. And so we can show this if by dialing up this rewiring probability, I'll, I'll set it to 10%. So now we have a network where you know, I have an ability to be able to uh, communicate with 10% of the company. And so what happens now when I try and spread that message? So I'll hit the spread button and you, you can see that that actually got um, <clears throat> spread across there very quickly. So around about 50 seconds. Let's try that one again. Um, well, uh, there's our yellow dot uh, down here. I'll hit the spread. And once again, you can see it start to spread around the company. It's flattened out. So what was that? That was, it was maybe 60, 50 to 60. And we'll do that one more time. And there's our yellow dot over there on the right. We'll start spreading our message and away it goes around the company. <clears throat> and uh, once again, 50 to 60. So. Um, the difference between being able to communicate with 10% of our company as opposed to just 1% um, was about three times. That was like a 300% increase. And so this is really sort of a very eloquent little mathematical demonstration about why social networks really speed information diffusion. And of course, you can use that same uh, property within companies by installing social business software, you know, tools like um, SAP Jam or Social Text or uh, Jive, um, <clears throat> any of those, those um, tools that take the concepts of Twitter and Facebook but build them into internal platforms that you can use within companies. And what you will see uh, when you do that is you only need a small proportion of the company, and here we can see it with 10%, to start using those tools and information will diffuse through your company much, much faster than if you just traditionally re rely on cascading emails. And uh, that's one of the reasons why social networking as a concept isn't going to go away. The tools may change um, that we use, but this uh, property of networks that are cross-wired to disseminate information very quickly is something which every company can take advantage of in order to improve their efficiency and in order to help things like speed up decision making. So I hope you thought that was interesting. There's a number of interesting models on Professor Ladamic's site. You'll find the URL uh, below this uh, video on YouTube. 
and I'm going to carry on playing around with some of her models and seeing how they actually relate to our real life business situations that we find ourselves in as consultants. Thanks very much. Bye.